Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time we are testing out uh, uh, recently released Iceman Aggression pre-built deck. Uh, and I decided to play against the uh, four horsemen using the standard tree and also the new Sauron encounter set that comes in Iceman's hero pack. So we are playing on standard difficulty with the pre-built decks and this will be my first try of Iceman. I haven't tried um, playing Iceman off camera before so we'll see how this goes. So without further delay let's get started. We are set up here so I have randomized the order of the four horsemen. So we have famine, war, pestilence and death. And also we need to pick one random side scheme before we start start the game and we'll get uh, Plague and Pestilence. Okay, that's not good, I think. Um, Plague and Pestilence has six threat on it. And... Uh, When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme treats their identities text box as if it were blank except for traits until the end. next villain phase begins. Okay. And it has a crisis icon, so we can't thwart the main scheme while that is in place, so that will be a priority to get rid of. And we shuffle the rest of those uh, side schemes into the encounters deck and we are ready to begin so we'll just throw our opening hand one two three four five six okay we get recuperation chill out i slide frozen solid looking for trouble and take that and we can't use the looking for trouble Take that is a bit useless at the moment. Recuperation is useless. Chill out. Uh, this we definitely will keep. Ice line we will keep. I'm thinking about frozen solid, but I th don't think we have enough resources. I'm actually mulligan these four. One, two, three, four. Chill out, that's great. And another frozen solid, looking for trouble and surprise move. Okay, well, uh, at least we have a way, way to get rid of the plague, plague and pestilence side scheme right from the start, so I think that will be our um, uh, priority. We'll just use these cards. So we'll flip to hero mode. And uh, I'm thinking of maybe hitting someone. Yeah, so I'm hitting uh, Famine for two damage. We'll attach a uh, set aside Frostbite to that enemy. So it is a permanent attach, enemy gets minus one scheme and minus one attack, forced response. After attach, enemy activates or leaves play, set this card aside. So I'm just putting this on in front of these, so we'll remember. Then I'll play chill out, remove three threat from a scheme, attach a set aside copy of frostbite to an enemy. I'm using frozen solid and ice slide. We remove three from here. And we'll place a Frostbite on War, for example. And I'll use a Surprise move and uh, looking for Trouble to play the other Chill Out. We'll get rid of this one. We'll place Frostbite on to Pestilence.
and uh, I think that is it. Uh, yeah. Uh, the player who defeated this scheme treats their identities text box as if they were blank except for traits until the next villain phase begins. So we are blank, but we are ready. We are draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. And we have surprise move, snow clone, arctic attack, and another snow clone, and suppressing fire. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. And then uh, the uh, famine will attack. After famine attacks you, if she has at least one hit point, discard the top 10 cards of your deck. And uh, famine attacks for zero plus one. I'm not defending, so we'll take three damage. And we lose 10 cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this gets discarded. Then we move the active villain counter here. And uh, we get an encounter card. The Eye of Sauron. Discard the top two cards of your deck, top three cards instead. If Sauron is in play for each resource, I can discard it this way. Do the following. Let's see. Uh, we get physical. And energy. Energy plays one threat on the main scheme. Physical deal one damage to your identity. And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Let's see. Uh, surprise move. We could use this to hit for four on war or pestilence. Arctic attack would be also nice, but I would really like to get a snow clone in play. Mm. The surpri suppressing fire is not useful unless we get uh, minions in play, so I think I'm using that. that to play a card. So I think I'll get one snow clone. I'll use the suppressing fire and the other snow clone to play those. And uh, I don't have enough for Arctic attack. Do I really want the snow clone? Well, it's it's a decent one because I can just keep hitting. Yeah, so we'll hit for two here. So we take one minus one consequential damage after it attacks an enemy with frostbite attached. So we don't take a consequential there. Then I'll pl play the surprise move. Hero interrupt and I'll make a basic attack of Four against Pestilence. We'll just uh, spread the damage around. Because we like to defeat everybody at the same time so they don't have many chances to heal. We're ready up. We draw one, two, three, four, five. Suppressing fire. The power in all of us. Cryogenetic perception. Team building exercise and chill out. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, war will attack. After war attacks you, if he de has at least one hit point, discard an upgrade or support you control. Well, that doesn't do anything to us at the moment. So war will attack for one plus one is two and I'm not defending. I'll just take two. And then this set aside, this moves here. We'll get an encounter card, which is Horseman of Death. 
Uh, heal two damage from death and give him the tough status card he activates against you. Let's see. Uh, death has no damage, but will give give him a tough status card. Okay, and uh, death activates. So now I'm defending because death doesn't have a frostbite, so we'll get, deal a frostbite to it. So two plus two is four minus two is on. We'll take two damage. We're pretty low. Uh, I think we need to heal at some point. We'll see, but we'll deal a frostbite to death. And uh, so this was here, this activated, so we'll put it on death now. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Let's see, uh, we have the power of all uh, in all of us, so we could play the team building exercise, which we will do. Because this generates two wild for that card, because it's a basic. We still have uh, these cards. I think I'll opt to play chill out. Remove three from here. Place this over here. Uh, snow clone will hit for two. Doesn't take any consequential damage. Oh yeah. Uh, actually, we will play it one cheaper. So this has ice um, trait on it, so it costs only one if we use this. So I'm uh, using the suppressive fire to play it. I'll keep the uh, cryogenetic perception in hand. We'll ready up. Oh yeah, after that at attacks you if it bleed. Okay, so I forgot to deal one damage to a character I control. I'll deal it to snow clone when that activated last turn. So I'm just correcting my <laughs> mistake there. Now we'll go to Alter Ego. So after you change to this form, shuffle one ice card from your discard pile into your deck for each copy of Frostbite in play. There it is three. And I think I'll put Arctic Blast, no clone and... I think Ice Wall is nice. Also, Ice Blast would be nice. Maybe Ice Blast instead of the Arctic attack. I'll take the ice slide instead of the ice claw. Okay. So we get to shuffle three cards into our deck, which is nice. Oh yeah, we are um, still exhausted. Now we have a chance to draw those cards that we just shuffled back here. Okay. That is. Um, Oh yeah, we still. I'm just hitting the top off of here. Now we're done, and we draw to six. So one, two, three, four, five more cards. We get ice blast, ice wall. Keep up the pressure, ice blast. Looking for trouble and cryogenetic perception. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Um, death activates. So zero plus one 
we add one here, this goes away. This moves here. We get an encounter card. It is dark designs. Place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Then if it has any counters on it, the villain schemes. Okay, that is annoying. So famine schemes for one plus two is three. That is not good, but it is what it is, so... And these are only for attacking, so not uh, scheming. Just goes away. Okay, well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. I think we need to heal, heal with Poppy Drake, so I'm healing for four. I will go to hero mode. Then, uh, let's see. The Ice Blast is not that good now, as we already lost all of the Frost Bites. But I think I'm setting up here, so... I'm using the Looking for Trouble and the Keep Up the Pressure to play the uh, Cryogenetic Perception. Or yeah, I'm I'm getting rid of the ice blast to instead play the ice wall. So this gets us a, uh, eight more damage that we can sustain before we need to do anything. And this also places one frostbite to an enemy. So when an identity would take any amount of damage from an enemy attack, place that damage here instead. Then if there is at least 8 damage here, discard this card and attach a set-aside copy of Frostbite to the enemy that just attacked. So that's basically the Ice Wall. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we can still hit with Snow Clone for 2 damage here. Why not? We ready up. We draw back up to five. We still have the cryogenetic perception. One, two, three, four, five. We get big uh, power belt. Take that. Power in all of us. And cryogenetic perception. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Mm, war is attacking. So after war attacks you... We have to discard an upgrade or support we control. Oh yeah, I, again I could have played... Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting rid of the team building exercise. So, uh, war attacks for 2 plus, uh, I'm actually defending, so I get one more frostbite into play. Uh, after this activation, famine activates against you, do not give famine a boost card for that activation. Oh, damn. <coughs> so we lose this, we'll take uh, minus 2, so... 2 plus, yeah, so we don't take any damage. This moves here, but now Famine attacks uh, for 1. Uh, I'll just place it here. So, this moves again. And we lose 10 cards, so it's 2 cards. We shuffle our deck, we get an extra encounter card. And uh, 
pick it and then encounter cards or two encounter cards. This round first is Metal Wings. Attach to death and move the active counter to him. That gains retaliate one and is considered to have at least one hit point remaining. Hero response. After you attack death, resolve his forced response as if he just attacked you. Discard this card. Okay, well that that is quite quite a bad draw. Then we get Sauron. Okay. Uh, Sauron is a two scheme to attack and six hit point Brotherhood of Mutants minion. When revealed, search and counter deck and discard pile for the life drain attachment and reveal it. Let's see. Life drain. I think we are a bit in trouble. So, Sauron comes into play, we get the life drain, attached to the minion with the highest printed hit points. It activates against you. If no minion activates this way, this card can search. Forced interrupt. When attached enemy attacks, you take two damage and give the attacking enemy a tough status card. Okay, so it hits for four. So I'm placing four damage here and give, give Sauron tough status card, which is not good. And uh, I think I forgot to put this onto Famine when Famine attacked and I defended. So that should be correct now. Okay, so that is that round. Uh, let's see what we can do next round. I think I would like to play uh, something. Power belt would be nice. Take that would be nice. Oh yeah, this actually... Oh yeah, it's only an attachment, not an upgrade attachment. So we need to have an upgrade attachment on Sauron to just blow him out. Well, I'm playing Beak. After you play Beak from your hand, remove one threat from a scheme for its X-Men ally or control. Uh, we have two, so we remove two from here. Hmm. I am playing the power, power belt. This is quite bad of a turn, but it is what it is. Mm. Well, Snow Clone will hit uh, Famine for two damage. And Beak will actually just get rid of the tough. We'll ready up. I'll draw. One, two, three, four, five cards. We have Arctic Attack, Team Building Exercise, take that, Team Building Exercise and Frozen Solid. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, that activate, oh yeah. That activates, so... I'm actually moving this guy over here. So I'm not confused which of these have frostbite on them. So that activates, after that attacks you if he has at least one hit point. Deal one damage to each. Okay, how did we get rid of this? After you attack death. 
and discard this, okay. So I'm defending with peak. So 3 plus, uh, after this activation, resolves plus 1 pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Uh, 3, so peak is defeated. This moves over here. We get a uh, Sauron attacks. I'll defend with Iceman. 2 plus. And it gets this. And we'll take uh, 4 minus 2 is. I'll place 2 here. Then we'll get an encounter card. Horseman of War. Heal two damage from war and give him a tough status card. He activates against you. Okay. Heal two damage. Tough. Ta uh. Then war hits four. Oh yeah, I had to deal one damage to a character I control. I'll deal it to here. So this actually broke when death attacked. So we can place frostbite there also. So now I I'm taking the famine's attack, which is oh uh, no war's attack, which is two plus two. We're taking four. Oh yeah, and we have plus three hit points from here, so I'm actually yeah fixing that. And then uh, discard an upgrade or support or two control. Damn it. Okay, so we just lost the belt too. Well, that sucks. It is what it is. Okay, well, that is that round. Let's see what we can do to recover on the next round. Now we need to deal with Sauron. And maybe... Oh yeah, uh, this should be here. Maybe we want to stop war from activating for for a once. So yeah, snow clone will get rid of this tough. Hmm. We could just Arctic attack Sauron. Then, uh, we don't have enough to play anything else, which sucks. Unless, we, yeah, now I think we can set up here. So I'm using team building exercise and frozen solid to play team building exercise. We'll use that and take that to play Arctic attack, defeating Sauron. This goes away, and that is it. Um, yeah, we're losing this. If yeah, I'm actually taking a risk and going to alter ego. I need to heal, so we're ready up. We draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, and we get to shuffle before. We draw anything, we'll shuffle ice wall. That is not a nice card. That is. That is. Uh, I think we want the ice belt, uh, power belt back, so. Yeah, there's three frostbite, so I can shuffle three cards into my deck. Okay. 
and then we'll draw one, two, three, four, five, six. We get surprise move, ice slide, chill out, ice blast, team building exercise, and suppressing fire. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. War schemes for one plus one is two. This moves here. We'll get an encounter card. It is hound. It has guard. Okay. There is the guard token. Okay, so I think that's okay. When real wield, if you are in hero form, found attacks you otherwise change your identity to hero form. Oh crap. Well, I'll have to think of something else. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Mm, now that we have a minion, we could play the suppressing fire. Attach a minion max one per minion. When you attack and defeat, attach minion heal two damage from your hero. So I'm definitely putting that on there. I am playing the ice slide. Actually, I, yeah, I'm just uh, getting rid of this. We heal. Two damage. And um, I think we could play Ice Blast. So uh, Ice Blast is uh, hero action. Choose a player, attach a set aside copy of Frostbite to the villain, and each minion engage with that player. Deal three damage to each enemy with copy of Frostbite attached. So, I'm playing the Ice Blast using uh, this, this, and uh, this. So, we deal this here. I think uh, we can do that because we're engaged. Oh yeah, actually no. So I think we are only engaged with the... Uh, yeah, let's back up a bit. We'll get the hound back, put the suppressing fire here. So we didn't heal yet. We'll do in a moment. So after we played the ice blast, this gets one. Then yeah, because we are only at, uh, engage with the active villain. So uh, we will still deal 3 damage here. And now we heal. And uh, these also take 3 damage each. Which is really good. We still have two cars to play. Just thinking would have I wanted yeah, I'm I'm saving the surprise move. So I will actually hit death so we get rid of the wings with the Iceman. 
So when you make a basic attack against an enemy with an upgrade attached, you get plus two attack for this attack. If this attack defeats that enemy ready or hero, well, it won't defeat it. So we deal uh, four damage here. And after you attack, death resolve the fur force response if he just attacked you. So uh, retaliate one actually deals us some damage. And uh, deal one damage to each character you control. Okay, so before that. Uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm just hitting the tough off with the Ice Clone, because why not? We're losing the Ice Clone other way. So now we'll take one damage from that, and these wings get discarded. But we're closer, and I'll go again, taking a bit of a risk to Alter Ego, but we need to heal. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, and we shop again. I'm always forgetting to shuffle this. Mm. I think we need some chill out. Maybe ice clone again. There's one ice clone. Um, frozen solid, why not? Yeah, there's three. Always thinking that it is three cards, but it's uh, the number of frostbites on the table. Now we draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get uh, Arctic Attack, Ice Slide. Super uh, suppressing fire, frozen solid, super, uh, surprise move and globe. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Pestilence schemes for one plus. We'll put one here. Okay, and we get an encounter card. The Ravages of War. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme discards an upgrade or support they control. It comes into play with six threat on it. I think we'll try to ignore this and just get everything defeated next round. But uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we have some choices here. I could just flip, hit for two, play Arctic Attack, but that's not enough. Okay, we first play Ice Slide. So I'm not healing, I play the Ice Slide. Yeah, then we'll flip to hero mode. I'll hit for three here. Oh yeah, but we're still not able to defeat war. Okay, let's back up. I'm still playing the ice slide, why not? I'm actually making it a bit cheaper. And uh, yeah, I'm healing. Now I'm flipping. I am playing Glob. 
So I'll deal two damage to a uh, mini enemy with an upgrade attached. So we'll just get death down to zero. So now we only have to get war down to zero. And that is actually, I'm hitting for two here. Now we ready up. We draw one, two, three, four, five. We have chill out, the power of in all of us, uh, recuperation times three. <laughs> Maybe the worst hand in ever, but it is what it is. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one here. We're pretty close, getting defeated. And uh, death activates against us. I will. Will I defend? No. Uh, yeah. I will just take it. So one plus two is three. Then deal one damage to its character you control. This goes to Famine. We'll get an encounter card. Actually, we get two of them. First off is a Hound. Hound activates against you. Uh, Glob will defend. Or should I just... Uh, I'm just taking it. Let's go with some risk here. Mm. And then we get uh, spe Spectre of Death. So when defeated, uh, uh, we deal one damage to each character we control. And this has also six. We are so unlucky with the draw, but we can at, at least heal a lot next round. But yeah, this guy has guard on it. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we are at one hit point this guy actually has uh, two consequential damage on it. So we really need to go down and heal. But before that I'm playing chill out using two of the recuperations. We remove three threat from a scheme. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of this for next round. And we'll get a couple of more thread off of that. We'll go to Alter Ego and we will recover for four. And uh, we'll shuffle every damn oh yeah and we played the chill out so we'll freeze uh, frostbite war now we want every damn card that deals damage so i only have one arctic attack in the discard but we have uh, well snow clone deals damage ice blast deals damage yeah, we'll shuffle those in. And this shuffles into our deck also, because we went to Alter Ego. So we actually should have killed those 
in different order because Bobby ha or Iceman had three attacks. So I'm hitting with Blob on the Hound and uh, hitting War with three attack with Bobby Drake, which would have actually frost bitten uh, War, and we could have put this on to death, which we will do. And we can get to shuffle four then. Oh uh, yeah, a new hero. So I'm I'm doing a some some mistakes here and there, but it it is okay. Uh, I'll put uh, put chill out in 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 the deck. So as long as we don't tread out here, we might actually be able to defeat the four horsemen next round, but we'll see. So we'll draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Snow clone, frozen, solid, power belt, looking for trouble, shadow got shark girl. Okay, well, not the best, but I think we might be able to play two allies and just kill off war. But we'll see. We'll go to the villain phase. We had one threat here. And um, famine schemes for one plus three. So four. We're at ten. We get an encounter card. It is Rough Riders. Resolve the force response on the active villain as if it has at least one hit point and attacked you. Move the active counter for the next villain and resolve its force response the same way. <coughs> uh, so. Uh, so war gets rid of our support. And pestilence. Uh, if after pestilence attacks you, if she has at least one hit point, uh, treat your identity text box as if it were blank, except for traits, until the next villain phase begins. Okay, so I still have my traits, which is okay. So, yeah, this moves over here. No, uh, it, it stays on pestilence. So we need, just need to deal uh, six damage. So that is that round. Oh yeah, we still get one extra encounter card because of this, so this might screw us up. Uh, Ahab Toughness, uh, Cyborg Tracker 5. Uh, when revealed, if if release the Hounds is in play, place three threat on it, otherwise find and the release the Hounds side scheme and reveal it. I have no idea what that does, so... Hopefully it doesn't uh, block us from attacking war. Release the hounds, we'll see. Okay, so the first copy of hound revealed its face against search when defeated, whatever. Doesn't stop us in any way. And uh, Ahab doesn't have guard or anything, so we ignore him. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, mm, let's see. I could play Snow Clone and Shark Girl because Shadow Cat is too expensive. So that's enough. I'll flip to Hero Mode. Play Snow Clone using Power Belt and Frozen Solid. Then I'll play Shock Girl using Shadow Cat and looking for trouble. And Shadow Cat, uh, I mean Snow Clone hits for two damage here. Shark Girl hits for three damage here. Takes one consequential, and Iceman hits for two damage here, and that is the game. 
Well, it was pretty close some uh, in a couple of situations there, but we managed to pull out a victory with um, Iceman. And uh, I think this scenario really helped to demonstrate Iceman's ability to play the Frostbites everywhere, activate uh, uh, out of those, get the good, um, shuffle your ice cards back into your deck, because I al always had like, like at least three Frostbites in, in play um, at any given moment. So uh, that it, I think this is a really good uh, scenario to demonstrate Iceman's abilities. But I think Iceman is a pretty decent hero altogether. I'm uh, excited to try Iceman against uh, some different scenarios or maybe play a campaign, maybe do a protection build for Iceman. It seems like a good good um, option. But yeah, we'll see. Um, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.